So we're going to apply the distributive property then solve again and we'll do examples like this. Okay. So please write down the first example. It's negative parenthesis b minus 7 equals negative 10. Negative parenthesis b minus 7 equals negative 10. So the trick with this is that it's just like the other examples. So um, if you look at the other examples, we had um, different things. Like we started off with we multiplied in by 4, then we multiplied in with the distributive property with a 3, then a negative 7, and then with a, a negative 3. The only difference here is we don't have any numbers. Okay, So what are we going to do when it doesn't show us any numbers? See, it's when you've got a negative 7, you times by a negative 7. When you've got a negative 3, you times by a negative 3. But if you just have a negative by itself, what do you times by? See, that's the problem, right? So you got to remember, if, if I say this, if I say I've got an apple and a banana, and there's a 2 out here, that means 2 bags, doesn't it? 1 two and in each bag there's a you know there's an apple and there's a banana right so it's two bags right two bags but if I just write this apple plus banana how many bags are here so there's two bags here but how many bags are here is yes, if you just have a plus B that's just like having one bag right isn't it or one apple and one banana okay or if you had um, three cherries a pair and uh, five dollars and there was no number written out here. How many bags are here? Okay. So if you don't have a number outside of the parentheses it's kinda like having a one there, right? Because there's one bag. And when you have a subtract that's kinda like that because if I say apple plus banana in a bag subtract it. If I say subtract that that means subtract the whole bag. It means subtract the apple, but it also means subtract the banana. Okay. So I've got a sub because if I'm subtracting a bag with an apple and a banana, and I'm subtracting the apple and I'm subtracting the banana. So you could also do this: put a one. It subtract one of these bags. So I've got to subtract one apple, and I've got to subtract one banana. Okay. So if we multiply in with a negative one then that, that helps. So uh, do this one real quick. If you had a cherry and um, a tomato and uh, a pear in a bag and you subtracted that, what would that mean? So you're subtracting each quantity in here and that's just like multiplying everything by negative one. You gotta subtract subtract the whole bag, take it away. I'm taking away a cherry, I'm taking away a tomato, and I'm taking away uh, a pear. And you can put the ones in front of the letters or not, it doesn't matter, right? So when I have a negative outside a parenthesis, that's like having a negative one outside a parenthesis. Negative one. I've got to multiply in here with negative one. Okay? What's negative 1 times b? Negative 1 times b? Negative 1b, or just negative b, right? What's negative 1 times negative 7? See, that's a positive. Negative times negative gives positive 7, isn't it? So that's the trick. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Hopefully you understand where that comes from. And then we just solve the equation. Press pause and solve the equation. Go ahead and do it from here. I'll, I'll, I'll do it next. Okay, hope you press pause and try it. I'll go over it now. So we've got to get B by itself. B is being negatived and then there's 7 being added. To undo adding 7, we can subtract 7 from both sides. And what do we get when we do that? Write down the answer. Write down the next line if you haven't got it yet. So 7 minus 7 is 0. We're left with a negative b on the left. And on the right hand side it's negative 10 minus 7. That's 10 negatives and 7 negatives. How many negatives altogether? 
or you're in debt by ten dollars you subtract seven dollars now you're in debt even more you're in debt by seventeen okay now solve the equation from here what do you do do you remember if you just have a negative B how many B's is that how many bananas see we just have one banana don't we so it's nice to put in a one here so that's a negative one times b negative one times b so to undo multiplying by negative one what do we do divide by negative one on both sides so we get positive b equals 70 right so please write this down write down this example negative parenthesis x minus 4 equals negative 3 and solve it yourself so press pause and do this one yourself it's negative parenthesis x minus 4 equals negative 3 okay I hope you press pause and tried it and if you made a mistake that's fine because you can watch the video now and make sure you got the right answer so we've got a negative outside of a parenthesis that's like having one bag one bag of that stuff and we're subtracting one bag so we've got to multiply everything in here by a negative one okay negative one times x is negative x or negative one x same thing negative one times negative four is what that is the key did you get that part negative one times negative four positive four and negative three on the right so if you got the positive 4, I think you're most of the way there. So then we solve the equation. If you haven't got it, solve it from here if you haven't before. So you've got to do what? you got to subtract 4, right? And then what are you left with? What's the next line? So on the left we should have negative x, and on the right we should have negative 3 minus 4 negative 7 now what so this is a negative x and how do we get x by itself see we want the answer has to be positive x equals something not negative x so how do you get positive x so that's a negative 1 times x. So we got to divide both sides by negative 1, right? And we end up with x equals 7.